Okay, Dr. B, this is my creative project. Um, I have to read some of this, but I'm doing a poetry where I'm spitting, uh, I call it spitting poetry. So um, this is my poem about the laws of thermodynamics. The first law of thermodynamics is stated that although energy cannot be created, it cannot even be obliterated. See, ever since the beginning of time was dated, the amount of energy was already allocated. In a closed system, heat minus work equals the change in internal energy. This is not debated. The second law says about the energy, that our use comes from the quality, not the quantity. With all this crazy activity, we have to talk not about the enthalpy, but the entropy. We see that in reality, efficiency cannot be 100%. X or G is what we actually use to measure our useful energy. The third law is where things get a little confusing. You may find this amusing, but the idea we're using says that entropy of a perfect crystal at absolute zero is exactly equal to zero. Diffusing the confusion, I will explain its use. If this statement holds true, then we can deduce a relative point for other values of entropy, which will introduce a determination for such a value at other temperatures removing disuse. You may now think that I've forgotten the zeroth law of thermodynamics, which may have brought on questions in your mind about the last law. You will find that the law is very simple to get behind. It says that two variables are defined as an equilibrium to a third must be inclined to be aligned with each other. These are the laws of thermodynamics, zero through three. Easy as A, B, C.